First of all, it is so good to see you two back on the screen as siblings once again. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we are playing siblings? I mean, because the press release said that we were husband and wife. Exactly. You know, I had to double check on that because I was a bit confused. But then I watched the film and I was like, okay. okay. So this is the moment. could ever see us as anything other than siblings. <laughs> Before we dive deeper into you two playing brother and sister again, tell us about Christmas in Carolina. So we got a call from Stacy Davis, who is the writer of Christmas in Carolina. And my father and my stepmother and I are partners in Dream Merchant Media, which is a production company. And we look to co directed produce... the movie as well. Pe Peg co directed. Peg co my stepmother co directed the movie as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was just a family affair. We had Darius in it, the guy who played Waldo on the show. He helped to direct it as well. Really? Sean Harrison. He's just, yeah, brilliant, brilliant writer, brilliant, um, um, you know, just some production tip. It was really cool. We got a great chemistry, the three of us anyway. He's an awesome acting coach. And, you know, Kelly helped keep me in line. Um, I mean, I was in the Both middle ways. of- That's a full-time job. It is. It's, <laughs> I do that when we're not taping too. Yeah, you do, you do. I was in the middle of having a baby. It was, it was dramatic, it was crazy. I had to leave. When he's such a great performer, you have to deal with it. Well, this was literally a family matter situation, right? <laughs> this was- And we do, we enjoy being together. It doesn't matter if it's a barbecue or if I invite somebody to come and be in a, a film that I'm producing. It's really? just so good. I enjoy seeing him. We have such a good time together. Yeah. yeah. Always. Well, All you two time. you two played siblings <laughs> for almost a decade until Family Matters ended in 19, what, 98. So how does it feel to be back together again? I know you all communicate often, obviously, but to be back working together side by side, how was that? I mean, it's awesome. It's like riding a bike. Like Kelly said, um, whether it's, a, I mean, I, I, I would party with, 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 with Kelly and Sean and Jaleel, I party with them in a the phone booth. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you give us some space and, and we're really all over the place. So yeah. we, have, we had a really good time and it's like, we just fall right back into it. The chemistry is always there. Kelly is so good. Um, I mean, she's just so good um, when it comes to being generous, um, mm -hmm. when it comes to knowing what you need uh, it's just so easy. It's like, it's, it's a no brainer. It's like muscle memory. So, you know, um, we can show up and, and be the characters and these characters are different. They're not Eddie and Laura. They're different. Right. Um, you know, so, uh, for most it probably would be um, a, a challenge, but when you have that kind of chemistry, it's like riding a bike, Yeah. a well-oiled bike. So we didn't get season 10 where Laura and Steve were supposed to get married, right? Is there any hope for a revival or a reboot where you all are grown, you have your lives now, we see Steve and Laura together? I'm going to defer to Kelly. I cannot confirm And I was going to say, let Darius, Darius is, friends, is BFFs with Jaleel, so he would have to explain that. All I'm going to say is that we are working on some things, um, but the public doesn't need to understand. Jaleel exactly. is not doing it, so no. But no, it's not, it, no, no it's is that not. official? It's deeper, no, it's deeper than that. We don't own these characters. We don't own the property. And so there are some things that we have to uh, to do legally to make sure that, you know, that, that we would be able to give you what you want. But the bottom line is uh, they own family matters. They don't own us. So, you know, you can get ready for the picky, picky, picky remix. <laughs> hey girl, Melissa, you gotta pray for us here. Right. Because this man is crazy. But but look, people probably, if you do it right, people won't be mad at it. But th that's devastating kind of, because I came in here thinking that there might be a possibility of- It's not us. We don't, we don't own an election, we don't own the IP. I'm just gonna put it out there and keep it real. We don't own the IP. However, we do own ourselves. And there are some things that we're in talks about. We talk about it all the time. You know, Kelly and I, we talk, you know, weekly. Um, uh, you know, uh, Jay and I, we talk quite often. Um, I mean, I just talked to him maybe last week. Um, and so there are some things in the works and, you know, Jay has, has told me, you know, he's out of his mouth, whatever it is that, 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 that I'm doing, we doing. So, I mean, that's my, that's my brother from another mother, like Kelly said. And as yeah. long as like Kelly, you know, and, and uh, you know, Cherry's down and everybody's down, there's always a possibility that you guys can see us together again. Yeah. So We always yeah. love being with each other. That's why I invited Darius on this. 
So we may not be on family matters together, but right. we do projects together all the time. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at that. And you still experience that same chemistry. Right. Yeah. You yeah. brought up ownership, which I think is just a really important conversation, especially when it comes to the Black community. So I want to tie that into my next Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Family Matters, you know, was one of the longest running African-American focused sitcoms on television. How do you think this show influenced what we see on TV today? Tremendously. I mean, tremendously. Um, one of my favorite statements I hear from anybody is when someone says to me, uh, that is not a, 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 a color, says to me, you know, this show really did wonders for shaping my perception of the African-American experience. And I was at a point in my life where I could have gone either way. And this showed me how black people lived. And I was able to relate to you all as just people versus black people, you know? Right. And so it gave me a solid example to stand on. And I'm different today because of the show, you know? Um, and so I think that that was one of the greatest things that Tom and Bob, one of the greatest contributions in all the work that they've done Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Perfect Strangers, Full House, all the work that they've done, um, getting by, all the work that they've done. I think that that was one of the most important things. Bill Bickley, Michael Warren, one of the greatest things they could have ever done was given a black family to America. Mm. Right, and, and, and to piggyback off of that, Darius, that's the, thing, that's the thing I think that is most significant about the show is that the producers made a show about a family. It wasn't about a black family right. specifically. We just happened to be black people but the things that went on on the show they were universal mm -hmm. anybody can identify with the things that uh, we spoke about we talked about we spoke about uh police brutality back then that was yep profiling all of that yeah right mm -hmm. so i i think it was uh novel because we we aim to be palatable to everybody Right. Yeah. And we talked about how others see Black people, how it influenced how others see Black people, but how do you think it influenced how Black people see themselves, the show? Well, uh, we were always very conscious of that because we wanted to represent the Black experience in a real way. We weren't like uh, overly you know, wealthy. We just wanted to have a, a real family, just like all in the family and all of those. They weren't, the thing that made them extraordinary was that they were ordinary. These were ordinary people doing blue collar, you know, blue collar things. Yeah. And uh, we just wanted to shine a light on the everyday, every man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so I think it, it helped to see, it helped people to see African Americans in a way that is just like them. Yeah, yeah. Who experience the same things as them. Absolutely. You know what I mean? See black nerds. Mm -hmm. That's important. That's yeah. very important. That was a good point. All right, one more question before I let you all go. Any behind the scenes moments from your days on Family Matters that fans might not know? Any that, if you want to dish Other out than the time that Darius put Vaseline on my toilet seat? Why did you do that? <laughs> hey, Why? Hey, hey, Kelly, Kelly, come on now. How do you know that that was me? Did I? How do you know it could have been? You told me <laughs> by laughing. Was this before? Was this before you had to shoot? When was when was this? During rehearsals, he would sneak into our dressing rooms. <laughs> he was horrible. He was a horrible trickster. People love the show because they think it was, you know, we were such a, you know, it was a real family. He was a yes. real big brother, an annoying brother. <laughs> Darius, Notice. why did you do that? What was your thought process behind putting Vaseline on her? You didn't think. think. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. I mean, you know, another great trick, you guys, we are watching some of you that might want to get into pressure. Put saran wrap over the bowl too. I did that one. It, it really got bright. Really inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate. Oh my goodness. Hey, yeah. hey you know what else is really good too? I will. <laughs> Maple syrup on the doorknob is really good too. Maple syrup works really well. Look, that is one of your something next projects. years old, sir. You 40 something years old. <laughs> Get a life. 
love you two together oh my goodness you're such a joy everybody has to make sure to check out christmas in carolina november 1st on digital and demand